Yeah, why does she have a crow? <laughs> oh, this is awkward. Hello, fellow anime geeks, and welcome to another first impression in this 2020 spring season. My mission to try absolutely everything continues, and today I watched Yesterday o Utatte. I've organized my findings by answering these questions, and hopefully by the fourth one, you'll have determined if you found something worthwhile to watch for you. The male tags for this anime were slice of life, romance, drama, and senin, and I would have to say that this is most definitely a romantic human drama. In that, the romantic component does seem like it will play a large role in the storyline, but it seems like the focus will actually be on this man's crossroads in life. The art also seems to match this dark, self-reflecting mood. The lines are drawn almost jagged and thin, almost pencil-like, and definitely not smooth and cute and bold. The colors are also pretty dark, but this might also be a consequence of the fact that most of the scenes are at nighttime, and that in and of itself actually reflects what our protagonist is feeling because those are the vistas that he's seeing day in and day out. The mood kind of reminds me of Fune wo Amu or Koi Ame where it's calm and perfectly understated but at all times you feel like you're on the verge of a nervous breakdown. It seems to be about this man's change of mindset where hopefully he will become satisfied with his circumstances, find a passion, and maybe even love. Which is good because it was heartbreaking to watch our protagonist be ashamed of himself and his way of life, knowing that there was absolutely nothing wrong with it except for the label that he was placing on it himself. There's also an obvious plotline in the art outlet. He owns a camera, he has pictures up in his apartment, and the poster of the whole series is them at an, at an art gallery, presumably him showing a collection, I hope. So I'm really looking forward to a healing story. Now, the art, storyline, characters, they're all established. They're not very unique. It's like real life if our protagonist wasn't saved by a mysterious company, or Tadakun if his love interest wasn't an undercover princess, but I think that's kind of the point. There's no gimmick to this anime, it's just a man at a crossroads and his circumstances and feelings are enough. Is it worthwhile? Well, for me, I would say yes, but it all depends on what you're looking for in an anime right now. If you're looking for a fun action-adventure distraction, or if you thought that this was maybe going to be an uplifting romance with you know, toothaches involved with how sweet it is, then this is perhaps not the show that you were looking for. This is not the anime you're looking for. If, however, you're looking for a human drama that is almost cathartic in the way that it makes you reflect on things and maybe heal some negative feelings that you might be holding on to, then this might be the anime for you. And on that note, I'll catch you in the next video. I'm gonna go cry now.